Hi there, Bond Crowder with Math4.com coming to you from the Math Shack where it's raining, so you might hear some rain. I'm talking about the Monty Hall problem, otherwise known as the Monty Hall paradox. And um, I'm going to use three cars instead of a car and two goats and doors. So I have a DeLorean, which is the um, Back to the Future version, um, the time machine, Back to the Future. And then I've got this cheesy Easter 2011 pink car and a steamroller. So they're all Hot Wheels, so there's really no bias here other than who wouldn't want the Back to the Future DeLorean time machine? I mean, come on, really. So that's going to be the desired outcome. And I'm going to put them in this bucket. And that's how we're going to play this. And we're going to do some probability trees with this. So, here's what's going to happen when I first draw a car. I close my eyes and I pick out a car. And I have a 1 in 3 chance of it being a DeLorean. So here's my DeLorean. And I have a 1 out of 3 33% roughly, chance of it being a DeLorean. Now, if all things are equal, I have a 1 in 3 chance of it being the steamroller. And a 1 in 3 chance, I put them all back by the way before I draw, of it being the pink car. There's a bug. Then, once the DeLorean is out, I have two vehicles left in the bucket. And that is the steamroller and the pink car. Well, there's two in there, so I have a one in two chance of choosing each. Now, if for some reason I had chosen the steamroller to begin with, then the DeLorean and the pink car are left in the bucket. So then I have the DeLorean as an option to choose and the pink car as a possibility. Again, that's one in two. No problem so far. If originally I had chosen the pink car, then the only two things left are the DeLorean and the steamroller. And again, those are one and two. So here's what happens at this point. We can multiply down and we get one-sixth possibility for each one because they're all the same, right? One-third times one-half is one-sixth. And I said that my desired outcome was the DeLorean. So here's what I really want. I want to get the DeLorean. So it doesn't matter what happened here, I get 1 6. Now this is not switching. This is sticking with it. I give a 1 3rd chance total of getting the DeLorean. So what happens if I switch? So the DeLorean is out. There comes the rain. The DeLorean is out. The steamroller comes out. If I switch, I ended up with the pink car, right? Likewise, if the DeLorean is out and the pink car is out and I switch, I'm left with the steamroller. Now, be aware that each of these choices we're not seeing. So when the DeLorean is picked, it's like the door is chosen, but you don't see that it's the DeLorean chosen. So we get the behind the scenes scoop here. So if we have the steamroller out and the DeLorean out and we switch, we end up with the pink car. The steamroller out pink car, we end up with the DeLorean. Pink car out DeLorean, we end up with the steamroller. Pink car steamroller, we end up with the DeLorean. So this is the switch. <coughs> So notice where my desired, this is if I stay, and I get these two. And if I switch, oops, maybe I should, if I switch, here are my desired outcomes, and it's these two added together. Guess what? They're exactly the same, but there's more. Here's the deal. This is Monty, ha Monty Hall's choice right here. This is the door he's opening. Well, guess what? If you chose 
the door that has the steamroller behind it first, there's no way he's going to open the DeLorean, right? So this isn't a one in two chance. This is a zero chance. And this is a one. Because he's not openly opening the DeLorean, he's going to open the pink car, which is the undesirable, right? This is like a goat and a goat. You choose a goat, he's not going to open the car. He's going to choose the other goat. Likewise here, if you pick the door that has the pink car, you don't know this. He knows this. He's not going to pick the, car, the door that has the DeLorean. That's a zero chance. He's going to pick the one that has the steamroller or the other goat. So now these numbers are skewed. Notice if you chose the one with the DeLorean, it doesn't matter. He's got a 50-50 chance he can totally randomly pick. So these numbers stay the same. These numbers though, one-third times zero is zero. One-third times one is one-third. So this one-six doesn't exist anymore. Again, one-third times zero is zero. And one-third times one is one-third. Now notice, this is if you stay. You still have one-six plus one-six or a total of one-third. If you switch, all of a sudden, here's your results. It's not one six plus one six as we originally had because there's no chance that he's ever going to open the car, the door with the one that you want, which is the DeLorean. So you have one third plus one third, which means between these two, you have a one, a two, and three. I don't know how I was going to get. And between these two, you have a one and three. For this one, you have one third chance. This one you have a two-third chance. So you have to switch every single time because you double your chances. So that, and of course you win the DeLorean, the time machine DeLorean. That is the Monty Hall Python, uh, the Monty, I don't know why I keep saying Python, Monty Python, that's why, just say it out loud. The Monty Hall problem or the Monty Hall paradox explained with the probability tree that's not, it's, you know, there's just a little bit of math here. So it's not the easy way like that other YouTube video from those other people that was really awesome. But it is, um, this is sort of the math way. So I hope um, this helped a little bit. If not, shoot me an email at bon at math 4com and let me know or reply, um, comment on this, this article and... Um, I'll talk to you soon. This is Bon Crowder with Math4.com reminding you that math is not a four-letter word.